Uh, we recognize all of our drivers, and as I said earlier, they have a very, very stressful job. Uh, doing what they do is, is really impressive. But uh, on that same note, what our fleet managers are doing, our operation personnel, everybody, it's very stressful. And it can be, it can be stressful, it can test your wits at some time, because at the end of the day, Ty and all other fleet managers are responsible for the livings of 40, 40 individuals. At the end of the day, if they don't make a living, they're going to call Ty, right? They're going to call Harold or whoever the case may be. Uh, as I was thinking about my speech, I was thinking about characterizations of time. You know, I came up with several, but genuine, uh, hardworking, no nonsense, and most of all, which you, you won't be able to tell from his tough guy persona, but <laughs> compassion, you know, <laughs> compassion, uh, caring. It's uh, it really is. He he does. He cares about each and every one of his drivers, and I can promise you, if you ask anybody on his board right now, they will agree with driver uh, employee of the year. And uh, we appreciate what you do, Ty, and uh, it means a lot to every one of us. And uh, we're very glad to have you. Thanks, sir. Okay. Just a side note, something else that you know, he needs to be congratulated for. I did a little investigating. In 2017, Ty only lost eight drivers, and only seven of those were quit. So that is, that's, that's, oh, wow. that's very big. So.